Hello and welcome to episode 18 of Red Place Pokemon Sun. Now, in the last episode, we left off right outside of Lush Jungle, the designated trial site for Captain Mallow's trial, the one who's obsessed with food and who seems to think all Pokemon is food. Which is slightly disturbing. We're, then again, maybe not because we eat edibles in real life all the time. But anyway, my Pokemon are not food and I will probably make food out of hers and I will show you exactly how in this episode. But before we jump straight into the trial site, I'll just like to check out this southern area for a bit, see what we can get. I just found something and something else found me. Okay, so what are you? Okay, it's a Diglett, which I've already caught. So after I defeat this one, I will be heading straight for the trial without any further delay. And as I mentioned in the last episode, I like to start evolving my Pokemon. Name me, namely is Kleptomania, the Selendid, and uh, Verocity, my Shalgon, into their final stages. Selezo for Selendid, and Salamence for the Shalgon. So I will probably be fighting the trial using uh, Veracity that one has been waiting a long time to be evolved. It's at level 48, two levels away from becoming a Salamence. Okay, good. So we've learned, uh, finally, a better move than Disarming Voice. Moonblast, a fantastic move. Okay, so, well, our box is more or less complete in terms of, like, moveset. Right, let's uh, head on to the trial. Hello, Captain Mallow. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Last Jungle. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team that you have chosen only the finest ingredients. Please, my Pokemon's not food. Mallow, my Pokemon are not food. If anyone's food, they are your Pokemon. Okay, so yes, I am totally ready for this. I can tell just what today's special should be. Uh-huh. Yep, it's gotta be my personal specialty, the Mellow Special. I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. I'll need a Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Here you go, I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients gathered for your trial. Okay, makes sense because those are ingredients that you can find like around the world anyway. And in the last episode, I believe I found a miracle seed, so I don't want to, you know, give that up as part of the trial. So good. If you put the trial ingredients in the bag, okay, so you will mix it up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, I don't want to mix it up with my own items. Like, what if I found a Margo berry and I ate it? And broke the game. That would be funny, wouldn't it? So there are four things you need to get. A Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Let me write that down. Well, I, I tried wagering once. I wasn't very good at it. I had to write everything down. Although I think that's what you're supposed to do anyway. But there are people who can get by without writing things down. And those are very impressive. Like, you know, I live in a place where, where you don't just get drinks at cafes. There are places like coffee shops and then you just go down. This uh, normally middle aged or elderly person will take your order. And despite their age, they don't need to write anything down. You can, you can rattle off like a list of five drinks and they'll remember everything you said. Well, most of the time, anyway. Like, you know, I like my coffee with less sugar. I also like a can of Coke, no ice peas. And they remember everything. It's fantastic. I, I'm afraid I can't do that. A parasect. Ah, too bad. It's part of trial and we can't capture it. So we have to smash it with a flying hidden power. Mm -hmm. Excellent work. Oh dear, I forgot. Okay. Uh, like I said, I was supposed to evolve Veracity into Salamence. So I will need to switch up the order first. Yep, yep, let me switch up the order. 
Okay, very good. Okay, so I have to I have to mention something. Like in 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 like two episodes past, I actually caught a Kangaskhan, and I wanted to use it as part of my team, you know, to replace Snorlax as the normal type. But unfortunately, Kangaskhan couldn't learn full swipe. So because I'm not done with the part with the campaign yet, and I still need somebody as capture specialist, I still had to retain Snorlax on my team. Which is sort of annoying because I would really want to use Kangaskhan. It's a fantastic Pokemon, it has a broken Mega Evolution. But, well, for now I'm stuck with uh, Snorlax still. So, yeah. Never mind, not too much of a uh, big deal. Okay, let's Dragon Claw and be on our way. Grab the ingredient which has to be here. Let's see what we pick up. Okay, berry. Okay, we got the Margo berry. Very good. I wonder what would have happened if you select a big mushroom back there when you were supposed to choose a tiny mushroom. Would it have made any difference? Like, you know, screw up the recipe and all that. Ah, damn. I'm just too conscientious a player. I should, I should really try, like, you know, just doing the wrong thing just for fun, right? Okay, uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I did see the yellow TM ball back there, but I don't want to spend too much time figuring out how to get that in this uh, trial video, so rest assured, I will definitely be backtracking off screen to get that TM. Hopefully, it's something useful. Probably some kind of grass type move. Okay, there might be something under this stone, so we have to break it at Tauros first. Okay, very good. Uh, Southland again. Okay, okay, no, there's nothing here. Let me just double check. Okay, not here. Not here. Here! Damn it. <laughs> okay, it's an axe attack. Okay, I don't think we have the right Pokemon to deal with this particular obstacle yet, but uh, Okay, so more, more stones, four rocks for Taros to crush. Let, uh, just, just try it. Okay, as I thought. Probably need a Martian for that or something. Which I don't have yet. Okay, let me see. Might be something under this rock. Oops! Got into the next area by accident. Let's head back and crush it again. And let's give it a check. Aha, uh -huh, the Miracle Seed. Okay, so we've found the Miracle Seed. And I think there's just one ingredient left. So if I re my memory serves me right, Miracle Seeds are meant to improve the power of a grass type moves. Since I don't have anybody with a grass type move, it's uh, kind of redundant right now. That's fine. Okay. So I think the only fork that we have yet to explore is like the top, the straight, straight north, straight ahead. Oh, what's that? Potion, really? I'm wasting my time with such items at this stage. Oh well. Let's be on our way. Okay. Seems to be close. Seems to be not so close anymore. Oh oh. We're onto something, we're onto something. Okay, a patch of a suspicious looking grass. No, nope, it's a duck, and somebody has leapt out to attack us. Okay, so this entire place is just going to be full Mentai. 
that's kind of disappointing. Come on, give me something more ferocious. <laughs> that would perhaps give me more experience so that I can get veracity to 49 sooner rather than later. Okay, so not this sport. Let's check another sport, right? Mm, where, where, where? So here. Okay, yes. A hyper potion. Okay, so not what we're looking for, but neat, I suppose. They do cost quite a bit. Okay, let's see. Another patch. And again, it's a dud. Damn, this uh, this thing is rather annoying. Although I suppose revival herbs don't grow everywhere, otherwise... Make things too easy, right? Okay. Spots have we not checked. A heal powder. Okay. Come on, where's this revival herb? Okay. Yep. Yay! Okay, so we've we were done with all four ingredients and we can finally Well, I was about to say get on the trial, but not before we are attacked by another full mantis. We'll get rid of it. And be on our merry way. Okay, let me just check around the area. Is there anything else? Its bitter bite is even a shocked Pokemon. But that's what will add depth to the flavor. Okay, you're the cook, I'm not, so whatever you say. Okay, so I think they must have adjusted the encounter rate for these two grasps as part of the trial, otherwise, you know, it might go crazy encountering Pokemon every other step. And I'm kind of glad for that, otherwise, in normal two grass, you. Yeah, you can't, you can't take like two or three steps on average before you get encountered with, you know, a wild Pokemon. And you have to deal with it in waste time. Alright, Malo, you got what you needed. And it's a good thing you didn't ask for like four Mentis guts for your <laughs> dishes. Oh, okay, the other two captains are here. What, are we going to have like a battle royal? That would be fun. I brought a thick club and a rare bone. Well, I could make a third dirty joke out of that, but I'll refrain from it. I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kiawe. Now we've got everything we need. So, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm guessing those are like cookie utensils. We're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Okay. So the totem Pokemon of this Lush Jungle is evidently a gourmet or a glutton. I wonder what type of Pokemon that is. Perfect, just what the recipe calls for. Now we can make the Mallow special. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw out the totem Pokemon right to us. Are you ready to start cooking? Yes, I am. Please get on with it. Flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Okay, so we're like in some sort of a cooking show. Okay, then in go the mago berry, the tiny mushroom, the revival herb, and the miracle seed. Kiawe, let us use the thick club and that rare bone for a minute. Well, 
I hope he's done in a minute. <laughs> Grab that thick club and that rare bone and pound it all to a... Uh, ow. Uh, it's kind of odd because we're not looking at the food when we're pounding it. The camera's trained right at her crotch. And she's asking us to pound it, to crush it, and to grind it. In that order. Well, different strokes for different folks, I suppose. But there's all sorts of ways in which my poison mind is making all this very wrong. But anyway, it's just me. <laughs> I mean, can't, can't we be like looking at the mixture and pounding it? Why are we looking right at her crotch? That's just kind of wrong. You know, and, and the name of the utensils, a rare bone and a thick club. Come on. It's just asking for all types of misunderstandings to be inferred from that particular scene. <laughs> but anyway, we've been... So I guess this is the second evolutionary stage of like the four mentees we've been pulling throughout the entire last chunk. Uh, nothing much to be impressed at, I suppose. I was a bit hesitant to use like Dragon Claw because it was all pink and there might be a fairy subtype. But good thing there wasn't, so. Okay, very good. We have completed the trial. Well, at least you're strong. Yep, yep, I am. <laughs> the totem Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Wheeler Volcano Park, my wanted Silazo didn't stand at a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy that I had trained so carefully. Alright, you've cleared all three of the colors trials, you've even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. Uh-huh. The Gracinium, I think, would be the name of this particular Z crystal. Okay, so we have a slight problem, and that is we've completed the trial, but uh, for rest, he has not hit 49 yet. But it's okay, I'll just, uh, you know, do a bit of... Do a slight bit of grinding here, because you know, we're really, really close. And I don't think you guys would mind, would you? Here, I have some nest balls. Okay. But they're not very useful balls, so whatever. Okay, so we've been invited to try some of the food. The flavour from the rare bone <laughs> seems to fill my mouth. It tastes so good you might melt. No wait, is that my tongue melting? <clears throat> it's so... SPICY! <laughs> okay, well. Um, I'm sure most of us have had that kind of experience at some point in our lives. I mean, even if you're like, you know, very, very tolerant, very resistant to spicy food now, there must have been a time when you were not, like when you were younger and all that. And you know, the first time you had like really spicy food, you were like, oh my god, why is this so spicy? Now that happened to me like a few years ago. I thought like I was I was a really good, you know, I was very resistant to like spicy food. I can take like spiciness in my food and all that. You know, like Tabasco is no biggie, even like you know the hot sauce varieties. Like they don't do anything to me very much, although I relish their taste, like Tabasco's my favourite hot sauce. Uh, so like a few years ago, I visited this uh, bar and grill. So their, their speciality was to serve up like um, very spicy hot wings, buffalo wings. And the spicy wings have a gradation in terms of like the spiciness level, so there's like level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, you know. Oh, okay, so the menu lists up to level 10. So you can order 
chicken wings at that particular place. Or spice this levels 1 to 10. Right. Nothing too complicated for grumps. So I went there with my friends. We tried 3, 6, 10. 6 was, I think, about the level of like Tabasco hotness, so that was fine. 10 was getting a little bit too spicy for me at that point in time. But a, a secret of that place was that, you know, there, there, there are two off menu items that you can order at that place, which is level 30 and level 35 chicken wings. I don't know why they're called level 30 and level 35. But so, so you have 1 to 10, and then you jump straight to level 30 and then to level 35. And so my friends were like, you know, we're not going to make it if we if we do, do it slowly. So why don't we just jump all the way to like level 30. And then another friend said, I'll top that. We should jump straight to level 35 and see like, you know, what kind of deal it exactly is. And I thought like, well, why not? Like, right. I mean, how, how spicy can the hot wings get? I mean, like, yeah, level 10 is very spicy, but like, you know, I couldn't imagine how much spicier things would get. And I was so, so wrong. Like, but level 35 came, the entire wing was like coated in uh, a cake, a cake layer of hot sauce and, and, and like chili flakes and cayenne pepper uh, powder. And I don't know what else was in it, but the moment I, I bit into it, the reaction was so intense. And it only got worse over time, so it got... The moment you bite into it, it was very spicy, and then within the next 10 seconds, you start to feel the full force of exactly how spicy the level 35 chicken wing was. In fact, it was so spicy, I actually felt pain in my mouth. That was how spicy it was. I mean, I don't, I, I didn't have like the, the capability to, to measure it in, in like Scoville units. I, I think that's the standard measurement of how spicy something is. But it was so spicy. I think it must have been like 20 times more spicy than, you know, a standard Tabasco tibet, uh, sauce. And it was so spicy that because we ate the wings with our hands, like any part of our whole body that we touched with our hands ended up having like a very serious burning sensation. So like obviously we're not supposed to touch your eyes or any other sensitive parts of your body with your hands. Otherwise you'll you feel like, you know, really, really burning up. And we were given that warning by the waitress who served us the wings, like, you know, if you eat it with your hands, you're not supposed to, to touch, you know, your, your face, your eyes. But uh, one of my friends was unfortunately not there to hear the warning, and so he went to the toilet, and it was, let's just say, he had a burning rot for the rest of the night. And we suffered, all of us suffered, like, you know, very, very ill effects. The next day, you know, the, our bowels were, were churned entirely upside down by, by, by level 35, it was how spicy it was. And since then, I have become desensitized to most forms of like spicy food that you encounter in, in normal life. I mean, I haven't been back to try it again because it was such a horrible memory. But I think if I were to try it now... Uh, the shock probably wouldn't be that bad anymore, I think. Because a part of my tongue died that night. And it... It never came back to me. Like... This, I, can, I can chew, like, you know, chili, small little chilies, the chili parties, those, those chilies that are, that are much more spicy than normal variety. And I, and I don't feel anything. It's not spicy to me anymore. That's just how bad it was. Oh, well. <laughs> enough, enough uh, me <laughs> complaining slash bragging about you know eating spicy food because uh, we just caught a gumi, which is the the first stage of uh, Gudra, one of the pseudo legendary Pokemon in the Pokemon series. Although I th don't think it's actually very useful, but still. Um, its pseudo legendary status led me to decide to prioritize catching that one over the monkey with the melon that he was bouncing about that we saw earlier. So, okay, um, Koresi is finally at 49. I'm gonna feed it a rare candy to get it to level 50. And we will have it evolve into its elements. 
Right now. So, I didn't have it learn Flamethrower because Flamethrower is a special move. Salamence is actually a physical attacker. And we can leave the fire coverage to our Salandit. Rest, he wants to learn the move Fly. Yeah, why not? We should replace the move. After all, you get like the same type of attack bonus with fly. Mm, I think I'll forget break break. Yeah, let's go with break break. Um, I mean, simply because break break is a TM move, and if I need somebody else to like fight, I can always use break break TM to teach somebody else to fight it. Okay, uh, so I'm going to call this an episode, and as always, please leave us a like if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe to see more new videos out every two to three days, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one, and I will see you at the next episode of Red Place Pokemon Sack.